I've built the Great Pyramid of Giza in Survival Minecraft, but why? Well, let's start from the beginning. Last year, I created a Survival Minecraft server and began playing on it. My base was the best and most importantly, the biggest on the server. But then something happened. I started adding people and they began building their own bases, some of which were nicer and bigger than mine. Especially this one friend who bragged about his base being the biggest. And of course, I couldn't tolerate that. So I decided to build the hole. <laughs> A circular mega base, which required the use of flying TNT machines to remove all the blocks. Let me make sure he knows who it belongs to. I thought this was it. Nobody on the server could possibly build a bigger base. But boy, was I wrong. One day I hopped on and saw something in the distance. When I got closer, I couldn't believe my eyes. Completely new base appeared on the server. How many chandeliers do you need? He built a creeper farm above it. Wow. It was humongous. I don't know if it was bigger than my base, but it had multiple layers. Everything was nicely decorated and it even had a few farms inside of the base. While my base was... was just a hole. I didn't know how to feel, but I had to make a decision. Either accept that I don't have the biggest base on the server or assert complete dominance. However, that wouldn't be easy. It would require a build on a completely different scale. A build of magnitude never before seen on the server. A build that would completely end the discussion of who has the biggest base once and for all. And so I decided to get to work. I wanted to build a pyramid because I like Egypt and more importantly, it's easy to build. I needed to pick a place where I could start building. It had to be a very big desert. That way the pyramid can actually fit in there. I could work with this, I guess. I found a desert that could potentially work around 1000 blocks from spawn. However, at first I almost ruled it out because of how close it was to everything else. See, everyone on the server has elytras and it only takes one person flying in the wrong direction and my base could be found, which would completely ruin the surprise. So I needed a plan. Every time someone logs onto the server, I will write this message. This would hopefully make them think that I'm in the end and nobody would look for me. First, I wanted to build a pyramid from sand, but I quickly scratched that idea. I thought my pyramid should be the exact same size as the actual Great Pyramid of Giza. So I began studying the blueprints and the dimensions. But then I realized I only really need the height. A block in Minecraft is one by one meter. So in order to start, I just need to build up to the correct Y level and go from there. All right, this should be it. Wow, it will be way bigger than I expected. The building process was going well. I started by creating the outline of the pyramid. That way I can't possibly mess up the sides. Yo, check out this god bridge. You might be thinking, but Dadusak, the Great Pyramid of Giza isn't hollow. Let's compare what I have so far to the size of your normal desert fortress. Once it's finished, it will be crazy big. At this point, I was building for three days straight, but I barely got anything done. I was starting to feel demotivated and even considered giving up at one point. But then I remembered the words of Mr. Beast. So if other people are spending one hour thinking of video ideas, five hours filming. I want to spend 10 hours thinking of ideas and days filming. I gotta have the biggest pyramid of all time. Nobody will beat me. I have more sandstone than anyone. Now I was determined to finish the base. And with that came a realization. It would actually be way faster to build from the bottom because I don't have to stop at every block. So I divided the pyramid into parts and started applying my new strategy. One block at a time, one block at a time. At some point I also understood that if I want my pyramids to survive for more than a few minutes, I'll have to put torches everywhere. That includes both on the pyramid and underneath it. That's a lot of torches and it's probably still not enough.
I think we might be finished, boys. After an ungodly amount of hours, the pyramid was complete. Over 100,000 blocks of sandstone went into it. I showed the finished build to my Twitch chat and they absolutely loved it. Yeah, I only had 3 viewers. <laughs> One last thing I need to do. From now on, refer to me as Vero Dadusak. Okay, but what now?